the year 2020 has given us a lot of bad stuff. But one of the worst things that had happened in 2020 is the creation and popularity of the everything is a cake meme. This is a cake, that is a cake, everything is a cake. Am I a cake? Don't you guys get it? This is peak comedy. The meme is so bad that it died like a week after its popularization. But you know what's worse than a dead meme? I am. That's why for this episode of the Dexys Show, I will make a video about this meme two months well after its death. Why? Because I thought it would make a pretty good video. So I grabbed the concept of the meme and threw it into my crippling addiction. No, not that addiction. Uh, that one either. The other one. Yeah, there we go. I grabbed this dumb meme and mixed it with my only addiction. Kirby! So for this video, I'll be answering a question nobody ever asked. If Kirby characters were cakes, what cake would they be? Hello everybody and welcome to the Dexys Show. Now that we're in the kitchen, let's grab every single Kirby character, or at least some of the more popular ones, put them into individual plates, and grab the cake knife to commit mutilation for science! The first character is the very beloved Pink Tough Ball of Puff, Kirby. Kirby will be the great classic vanilla flavor. Why vanilla? Easy. Vanilla is the middle ground of cake, the normal type. Throw in another flavor and bam, vanilla it's gone, the cake is now that flavor. So in a way, it kinda works like Kirby's copy ability. Following up is Waddle Dee, the most common enemy of the Kirby series, following the king's orders or just living normal lazy unemployed lives. The Waddle Dee are very beloved, but still uninteresting, so they will almost certainly be the most uninteresting but still good cake, the yellow cake. Why? Because of what I said, it's good but there's just more interesting options. So who's more interesting than Bandana Waddle Dee? Unlike the rest of the Waddle Dee, Bandana Waddle Dee is very unique, so he has his own unique flavor, that being apple spice. Bandana D is known for his love towards apples, from believing that they will make him as strong as the rest of the cast, to having his own theme being based around them, and even being the guardian of the jam apple tree in the Kirby Clash spin-offs. So apples totally fit the character. Also the spice part is because Bandana D has that extra spice that puts him apart from the carefree parasol holders. Serving right up, a cake of royal proportions, King Dedede. The narcissistic, lovable, charming, fat-ass penguin, self-proclaimed king of dreamlands, deserves a cake that seems to be royal. So I'll be going with what, in my opinion, is the most royal cake of all, Red Velvet. Plus, it matches his robe. Meta Knight is a mysterious character, but under that tough armor and badass mask, he hides his cute and soft side. So if he were to lose a duel against the cake knife, he would almost certainly be his favorite treat of all, chocolate. Going to the grasslands of Dreamland might bring you to a pleasant encounter with Dreamland's helpful and relaxed hamster, Rick, who if it was a cake would be a delicious carrot cake. Maybe going to the forest of Dreamland might bring you to be found with the furious yet friendly owl, Koo. And if he were to be a cake, he would be a Karakai seed cake, because birds love seeds. While exploring the forest, you might come across a pond, and a friendly yet clumsy fish would greet you, that being kind. If he were to be a cake, he would be a sea salted caramel cake. Why? He's a fish, and fishes live in the sea. How did kind of some fish who lives in the sea end up in a lake in the middle of the forest? I, don't, I have no idea. If you look deeper onto the lake, you might find a big bow underwater, who then turns around and has two big lovable eyes. You, my friend, have found the flag black octopus, Shushu. This sweet yet stubborn octopus who may or may not have a crush on our beloved hero, if were to be a cake, would be a sweet, sweet strawberry cake. While adventuring the depths of the forest, if you keep your head up, you might see a stubborn Japanese white bird, Pitch, zooming by. If you're fast enough to catch it and get a slice with the cake knife, he would be a pistachio cake. Again, because seeds, and now because grain. While following Pitch, he might swoop and peck a lazy cat sleeping on the floor. That being the adorable Japanese bobtail cat, Nago. If he were to be a cake, he would be a delicious peanut butter cake. Now watch out, if I were you, I wouldn't go too deep into the forest woods. 
If you got lost, you might have to deal with the protector of the trees, Wispy Woods, who would be a delicious apple cake. And no, it's not the same cake as Bandana Waddle Dee. Wispy has no spice, but thanks to him, Bandana Dee does get the delicious apple flavor. While leaving the forest, you might hear a couple of devilish giggles. You, my friends, are being followed by the prankster Yester, Marks. But worry no more, just grab the cake knife and slice that little devil in half. That might not kill him since he is capable of doing that himself, but at least you get to see what cake flavor he is. That being the gross upside down cake. A cake that has the best pizza topping as a topping as well. Pineapples. Ugh, by just reading this sentence I want to puke. The reason why this bastard is that cake is because they both have two similarities. The first one being that they're both bastards, and the second being that they have spots on their heads. Once you make it out alive from the previous encounter, the smell of onion might get you off guard. This smell comes from the sweet and fun onion lady, Grill. This forgotten puzzle master is a cake made of just what you would expect, a onion cake. And yes, those do exist. If you feel like getting a portrait or a nice drawing, I know the best little girl to do the job. Just say hi to Adeline and she'll gladly paint you a masterpiece. But what if you don't want a masterpiece? What if you want a piece of her? What if you want a slice of her? Well, first of all, you're a monster if you want to do that. And second of all, she will most likely be a cinnamon swirl cake. While getting that portrait painted, a fairy might have flown down and chatted with Addo. That little gal is the sweet heroic ribbon. If you're pure evil and want to see what this fairy tastes like, she's a cherry cake. But please don't. Just don't eat her. Once you get the portrait finished, hold on to it well so it doesn't get stolen by the mischievous rat the roach. Who, if you confront with the cake knife and get a slice of him, you will be surprised to see what flavor this rat is. Unless you know the tale of Kirby Strawberry's shortcake, which is exactly the cake this rat is. As the day turns cloudy and it looks like it's about to rain, a eye is noticeable in the cloud, and then some horns are noticeable on his sides. And yes, while well, this is a weird looking cloud, this is none other than Krako. So what cake would this storm cloud be? Mint! This cake is as fresh as a cloudy day's breeze. Up in the skies, there's an amazing mirror, which reflects a world covered in shadows and darkness, copying everyone and everything, but only reflecting the true evil side of that being. And who's in control of it all? None other than the evil reflections of the loyal knight, the broken and, did I say evil, Dark Meta Knight. This evil warrior, if he were to be a cake, it would be the purest of chocolate cakes, a brownie cake. But don't worry, or do, the weak and very shy reflection of the strong and heroic Kirby, Shadow Kirby is in charge of protecting the mirror world. No wonder it's been consumed by darkness. So if this little guy were to be a cake, he would be a chocolate chip cake. Showing that even though he was made by darkness, his soul is still light. And this mirror was once stolen by the love-struck, now melancholic puppeteer mage spider, Teresa, as a gift for his now deceased loved one. If this sad spider were to become a cake, he would be a pandan cake, a cake made with the pandan plant, to show his relation to flowers, plants, beanstalks, and nature. This loved one of his used to look just like him, but more pink, pretty, and girly. If at the time she were to be a cake, she would be a delicious sweet raspberry swirl cake. But thanks to that gifted mirror, all that darkness within got turned outside in, transforming such sweet loving girl into a beauty desiring evil queen, giving up her spider form, turning into a quote unquote beautiful wasp. If at this form she were to be a cake, she would be a nice honey cake, because Wasps are like bees and bees make honey. I, you get the idea. By keeping your sight on the sky, a dimensional portal might open, thanks to a ship built to take you to paradise, but stolen and hijacked by the incredible manipulative but admittedly charming Wayfarer magician Magalor. This egg-shaped lovable asshole, if were to be a cake, would be a blueberry cake. Because, you know, blueberries are sparkle and blue, and this guy is almost purple and blue 
This mage claims to have defeated the legendary Keeper of the Mask Ground for a headed dragon, Landio. If he did, I wonder what cake it would be. I wanna say pumpkin, because orange and pumpkin has a little bit of spice, and the dragon does breathe fire, so yeah, 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 you get it. Another planet traveling technology person is the sweet and collected executory now CEO Susanna Paltria Holtman, or Susie for short. This lady has gone through a lot. From being lost in another dimension to being her changed father's secretary, with him thinking of her as no more than a secretary, to accidentally killing his father by fusing his brain and soul with a Nazi incredible powerful machine. Oops. This lady deserves a break. And what's a bear break than being a sweet, colorful Napolitan cake? The reason for this being that she likes ice cream, but I'm saving ice cream cake for another cool lady. So I guess we're gonna have to go with Napolitan. A planet near Pop Star is entirely made out of Jarn, including its residents. The planet is ruled by the blue Jarn boy, Prince Fluff, who would be a sponge cake to reflect its softness. Somewhere off in the universe, there is an artificial handmade galaxy known as Seventopia. Who has created such place? Well, it was all modeled by this sweet clay artist, Clasia. If she were to be a cake, she'd be the super sweet meringue butter cream cotton candy cake. And this utopia was also made with the help of her bestie, the magic rainbow paintbrush fairy, Eline. Who, if she were to be a cake, would be a rainbow cake. Because she is a rainbow paintbrush and rainbow- yeah, yeah you get it. Far off, in another galaxy, there was a girl freezing to death. But right before the brink of death, a kind mage saved this person's life, turning that very thing that almost killed her into her strength. This lady then followed the mage with admiration and gratification over what he did for her. This lady is the frozen general of Jambandra, Francisca. And if she were to be a cake, she would be the really tasty and cold ice cream cake. Another of this mage's followers is the fire general of Jambandra, Flamberge. This strong girl with a fired up personality was also in a situation similar to her lovers. But instead of nearly dying from a snowstorm, this one was trapped in a fiery hell inferno. And just as she gave her final scream, the same mysterious mage arrived in the nick of time and turned that weakness into her strength unlocking the powers of fire. So if she were to be a cake, she'd be the hottest cake of all, the Molten Lava Cake. The main general of Jambandra, the top follower of the mysterious mage, the lightning general San Partisan, who got her electric powers thanks to the mysterious mage who rescued her right after she got struck by lightning in a tall tower she climbed to end her life after losing all would be a flan cake, because flan rhymes with san, that making her flan party san. <laughs> and what about the mysterious mage that saved them? This mage was unfairly banished to the edge of the galaxy, because he and his kind were feared of what they could do with such incredible magic powers. So after finally setting himself free, he went throughout the galaxies, finding recruitants to reincarnate Void the destructor of all worlds, and his god. During that time he didn't just do good, but he sadly started to lose his mind, to the point where his only driving force was to complete his vengeance plan, doing whatever it costs to fulfill it. That including mysteries the ones he was previously kind to, and even sacrificing his followers and his own life to unleash this beast onto the universe. If he was a cake, he would be an ube cake, which is purple, just like his heart and his ugly face. This god of his is not what it seems though, for what you see is just armor. The heart of this beast is its true being. If Void were to be a cake, it would be a Funfetti birthday cake. Because the Funfetti kinda looks like its veins, and it's also vanilla cake, which can be influenced and changed. Or maybe just not overthink that, and the reason just being because HAPPY BIRTHDAY DARK LORD! This void is null of feeling. It knows nothing, but it can be influenced. If it's influenced with kindness and friendship, it would be happy, kind, and pink. 
while if influenced with hate and darkness, it will turn into a master of matter. Matter most dark. That being a cloudy-like species that spreads like a galactic virus, possessing people and taking over their land, just because of jealous of what it doesn't have, happiness and peace. If this being was a cake, it would be a Jamaican black cake. Not because it's Jamaican, but because it's black. Dark matter while being void is created by its leader, the main source of this dark and jealous void. This being is known as Zero, meaning nothing. If Zero was a cake, it would be a coconut cake, because white. Yeah, one of the most powerful beings in Kirby history, capable of taking over countless planets existing for eons, a mystery to everyone, and the true being behind most Kirby villains can be a coconut cake. Yeah, this totally makes sense. <laughs> I, I, I had no other idea, so I just went with coconut, okay? And those are the cake flavors that most Kirby characters can be. Not every character is going to be specifically that flavor, but that's something that we will most likely never know. Unless Kirby Cafe has a cake event, please let that happen. It would be amazing to see what you eat character might actually be. Or if hell wants, they can totally email me for some help. Or just watch this video, no need to credit me. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this weird video. This idea just came to my brain one night and I just went, fuck it, and looked at cakes for the whole day, assigning them to a list of curry characters. You know what's ironic? I don't even like cake that much. Ice cream is way better. Wait a minute, that gives me an idea!